We need to get people back to work. We can't just flip a switch. Workers want higher wages. As the U.S. recovery pushes forward, there's a rising tension in the economy, and its roots are as old as business itself. Today, as jobs go unfilled and wages rise, it's got people talking about one thing. Labor shortages. Labor shortages. Labor shortages. The whole idea of a labor shortage is a tricky one. As the Fed has pointed out, there isn't even one clear definition of what it means, much less how to measure it. That might be one reason why it's become such a controversial topic, with people on all sides of the economic spectrum taking a stance on how much damage it's doing, what's causing it, or whether it's even real. The idea itself comes partly from business owners who say they're struggling to fill open jobs. That concern has been around for a long time, since well before the pandemic even started, and research shows that reports of labor shortages tend to pick up whenever there's a recovery. But there's a deeper question about the economy, and it centers on two key data points. One is U.S. employment, the total number of Americans who currently have jobs. Employment plunged during the pandemic and then surged back, but it's still about 7 million below where it was just over a year ago. The other number is job openings, which are now at record highs in the U.S., more than 9 million, according to the Labor Department. So with all these companies looking for new employees, it begs the question, why aren't people going back to work? This is the part where some people like to start pointing fingers. The government is paying people to stay home. They're staying home because they're getting paid to. The problems that are created here are self-induced. Hey, we respond to incentives. The truth is we don't have much evidence that unemployment benefits are the main thing keeping jobs from getting filled. For one, we didn't see a major pickup in July and August last year when the federal government's extra $600 unemployment benefits got cut and then replaced by a much smaller amount. We also haven't seen a big rush to fill jobs in the states that got rid of federal benefits early. And recently, the biggest jobs gains have come from the lowest wage groups, the ones that would stand to see the highest relative benefits from not working and collecting unemployment. Most economists do think that money from the federal government is one factor that could be adding to strains in the labor market. But they also point to lingering coronavirus concerns, a lack of child care options, people wanting to retire early, and a mismatch between open jobs and worker skills. There is even evidence that the pandemic has led to a turning point for some workers, inspiring them to completely rethink their careers. But economists also believe there's something else, something even simpler that's keeping people from coming back into the workforce. Maybe the pay just hasn't been good enough. It's an idea that a lot of big businesses are starting to catch on to. Raising wages works most of the time. Amazon, McDonald's, Chipotle, and the rest. Well, they're raising wages. And the question is, how much do they have to raise wages? Raising wages, or at least raising benefits. They're going to have to get the bodies in to make the places go. Leading up to the pandemic, wages had been stagnant in the U.S. for decades, with workers taking an ever smaller piece of the economic pie. Just pay them more sounds like an easy solution, but some businesses can't afford it. And there's concern that higher pay could lead to lasting inflation if companies raise prices to pay those higher wages. So far, wage gains haven't been out of control, and they've been concentrated among lower income groups rather than high earners. President Biden has said that's not such a bad thing. When it comes to the economy we're building, rising wages aren't a bug, they're a feature. As the recovery continues, so does the debate over what's best for the economy. And while a tighter labor market might be putting pressure on some businesses, it could also be granting an opportunity to labor itself, one that gives workers a chance to come out ahead of where they started.